the meaning of life and just when I wanted to start recording it started raining a little bit. Nature doesn't care so why do you? It's a point that I want to talk about later in this video but first I want to start with a quote from Bill Watterson. There is never enough time to do all the nothing you want. Truthfully I wish I knew the meaning of life before I wasted I would say 10 years of my life. By the way if you're new here I'm Jordan 23 years old. Did over 4 million dollars in revenue. Hired over 50 people and I started making videos in 2012 and I noticed more people are starting to serve search for purpose in life, with AI likely taking over the majority of jobs and companies in the next decade. We will start to see a lot more people searching for this purpose or meaning in life with all the free time they now have. Because that's what usually happens, doesn't it? When you have more time on your hands or space to think, these questions arise. That's why most normal people don't ask them. So my question to you, have you ever really asked what is the meaning of my life? If you pursue status, wealth, fame, success, legacy. Is that what life is truly about? Do you hold the belief that writing a book will leave you a legacy? Or do you think money will solve your problems or at least make you feel happier? Or do you think that becoming a father or a mother will be one of the best decisions in your life? These are things I believe, but I no longer want to believe. I want to know the truth. So what is the truth about the meaning of life? Could it be that there is a different perspective about your own life that no one has ever told you? What if there is? And what if it's true? Will you accept it? Or will you run away from it? The unserious person stops watching here. And you know if you're unserious, if you feel spoken to. I mean it. I refuse to talk to unserious people. So to the few serious people that are still here, let's discover the truth together. What's the truth about the meaning of life? Big disclaimer, don't believe me. Question everything that comes next for yourself. Why? Because if you believed me, if you believed that I was your loyal husband or wife, and you would only find out at the end of your life that I was sleeping with your best friend every once in a week. You would be devastated, wouldn't you? You can avoid the pain of every belief. And in this situation, by just merely seeing my words as inspiration, and maybe they reach you where you leave this video without questions other than questions for yourself. Now, with that being said, could it be that by attaching meaning to our pursuits, that we are actually robbing ourselves of the joy and playfulness that they can bring? For instance, have you ever experienced the freedom of engaging in something purely for the sake of the experience itself. Reminds me of a quote from Naval. What looks like play to you but might feel like work to others. Like playing the piano without playing the full song. Like training in the gym without looking in the mirror. Or like walking outside without following a path. Instead being led by your intuition. Fully immersed in the experience itself. I think we have all had those moments. At least I did. Not trying to get somewhere. Not trying to get something. Not on our way somewhere. And also not doing something for when it finished we get something isn't this reality my friend i found this quote from frank herbert the mystery of life isn't a problem to solve but a reality to experience could it be that we are doing something constantly with the thought that we will get something from it in the future that the things we do in our daily lives are based around that while mostly being unaware of it that this thought is there that you may be watching this even so that you may be smarter afterward if this is so if you think that way if that thought is there do you see that being smarter has no significance that everything you may gather in the future or become has no significance at all and that the joy of the experience right now might be the only thing there is because all the others are an illusion aren't they think about it let's look at nature for example natural disasters clear blue skies which isn't the case now and sunsets they happen without meaning don't they they happen regardless of my wish for the sun to be shining right now. They happen regardless of your expectations, right? You hope for good weather on your birthday, but it might rain. You see what I mean? Nature can be experienced, but it cannot be controlled. So if you expect something from nature, then the consequence of doing so will lead to pain. For it just does what it does. Sometimes according to your expectations, sometimes it doesn't. But nature never happens because of your expectations. Understand this, nature happens despite anything you want. Nature doesn't care, so why do you? I mean, it can't be persuaded like how I wanted to persuade my father when I was young to get something. So when you no longer see tornadoes, earthquakes, tsunamis as bad and sun 
rainbows and clear blue skies as good, then you may see the beauty in all of it. You may finally see nature's nature and you can experience it, find joy in it, find joy in both the rainbow and sunshine. For you see that it means nothing and one is not better than the other. Even if nature kills you or your loved ones, do you see that even this event doesn't hold significance? Please think about it because you will This is a given. It can be 50 years from now or it can be today, but it will happen. So if you right now desire 10 more years to live so you can achieve some success, to show your family, friends and the world what you can do, what you're capable of, if you have that feeling that you still want to get the things you want, the Ferrari, the, the Lamborghini, the yacht, the jet, whatever it is, trophies, the family, the husband, the wife, the love, then you have not seen the insignificance of that. Another quote from Naval, when you're finally wealthy, you realize that it wasn't what you were looking for in the first place. Whether you see the insignificance of your life or you do, I will say the truth. Only meaning I will ever find in my life is the one that I give. To it. And if, for example, I give significance to writing, to filming this video, then I've created an illusion. And this is not bad, I can do this. But there is a consequence, which is pain. Pain will follow after I've created this illusion. Because there is nothing that these videos can give me. There is nothing that writing can give me other than the joy of the experience itself in that very moment, not something in the future. For that is also an illusion. There's no future. I mean, the things you hope to get in the future through the things that you are doing today will feel insignificant once you have them. And don't believe me, just look at anything you've bought recently, a big purchase, because usually the feelings are more noticeable with those. I mean, the anticipation the whole time before you got it was maybe the most exciting, right? When you finally have it, it's insignificant. Whatever it is, how big it is, how expensive it is, how much you care about it right now, it doesn't matter. Why not see this insignificance today, my friend? I wish someone told me that earlier, so that you no longer feel pain when things don't work as planned, which they always do. So you no longer feel stressed when you make mistakes. For there are no mistakes to be made if you see everything that you are doing as a game that you are playing. One day it will be game over, so why not play until then? May you pick up the controller after watching this. Talk soon. And if you try to find the truth in a specific situation in your own life, but can't seem to find it, then you can always send me an email. I don't ask for money, but it helps me sometimes see truths for myself in my own life. So that's why I do it. But it is only for serious people. So only the serious person may check the show notes. And here is my poem that summarizes the message of this video. When life is just a one verse game, why chase meaning, success or fame? Just as nature runs its course, whether rain or sunshine bright, with no meaning as its source. Not good or bad, but both all right. So can you live with childlike play, embracing whatever comes your way? Will you pick up the controller after this, my friend? Cause this game of life will one day end.